what it do baby welcome back to my youtube video i am so excited to finally be filming this video for y'all it's now it's now two months late but better late than never but never late is better i was supposed to do a six month hello i was supposed to do a six month update but I ended up filming it and just really didn't like what I was saying and I think that just was a lot of reflection on how I was feeling about my budding plants at the time because it's been such a roller coaster, y'all. Like one day I will want them out of my body, like I hate them, like can't stand them. The next day I'm like, these are amazing, I love them. Like in some days I'm in between, like I kind of like them, kind of don't like them and it's just like literally I cannot decide whether or not I like them, but I've been feeling a lot more consistently good about them. Still have my bad days. So I'll just like get into the questions and see if the questions prompt me to answer like the kind of things that I didn't like about them and the kind of things that I do. And if not, then I will cover it in the end. So let's just get into these questions. Why did you decide to get some implants? Weren't you bodybuilding? Just curious. Yes, because one, I, the way my body is built, my legs are forever going to take over. Like my butt will never look proportionately bigger than my legs. Like it just isn't in the cards for me, the way my body is built. I have a really big legs and they just take over. And also I was tired of stressing about being in a caloric deficit and losing my butt. I wanted the best of both worlds. So I was like, I'm gonna get surgery to get the best of both worlds. I got my implants with the same doctor, same size. Do you like your scar? So the scar was one of the biggest things for me that I didn't like. There is two scars on the very bottom of my butt cheeks, like in the crease and in the middle of my butt crack. And I detested them. And obviously whenever you first get the surgery, the scars are a lot more prominent. So they have faded a lot by now, eight months later. They're not gone by any means, but I can tell they're like fading into my skin a lot better. So I'm happy about that, but I have an even more of a gnarly scar in between my butt crack because I had a complication where the incision opened. So it's like a really gnarly scar in between my butt crack, but thankfully it is in between my butt crack. So you literally can't see it unless I'm completely naked, like a swimsuit, you know, any underwear completely covers it. So, you know, someone said, why did you get a butt installed? <laughs> installed? Men are so funny. Next question is, do they feel weird when you squat or deadlift? I'm just gonna like answer this in a working out terms. As time goes on, I feel like I might just be getting more used to them or they just feel more natural and more normal. But I also think it has to do with the healing as well. Whenever you first get them, they're like kind of really foreign in your body. So your body is not even used to them and you're sitting here like using all the muscles around them. So you can definitely feel them. Does it feel like uncomfortable? No, it just feels different is the best way to describe it. Like you can definitely feel there's like an implant while you're doing the motions while you're like, you know, it's just a whole new feeling as to what you're used to. One said, can you feel them when you're sitting down? And also I just want to add because someone asked, do you feel them while you're in a certain position in the bedroom, which I'm sure you all can guess what position that is. The implants are actually at the top of your butt. And that is something I didn't know whenever I got the implants. I thought, like, I didn't know what I thought, honestly. I just didn't know they were in the top of my bum. So whenever you sit, I don't know if y'all can see me. You like, whenever you sit, like so, my implant is up here. So I'm sitting completely on my naturalness. This is like, completely, it gets pushed up. Which is nice because like, it adds that fullness and you're not sitting on something kind of like, uncomfortable so whenever you're like bent over in that position at well as well everything comes to the front of the body so you can't feel anything from the back part at all so it doesn't feel weird at all when you sit or anything the only thing that feels a little different is when you lie down on your back i wouldn't say it's uncomfortable it just feels different why butt implants and not boob implants and i'm only answering this question because it's actually been asked a lot of times and it's just a personal preference i have no issues with my boobs and i wanted a bigger butt i didn't care to have bigger boobs i cared to have a bigger butt you said you didn't love them at one point please explain why let the transparency you give us thanks so much there's just like certain angles that i don't 
love them but there was also certain angles that I didn't love my natural butt either I don't love the way it moves when I twerk I can like make it work but it's just not the same just as a whole I feel like I'm learning a whole new different like body in terms of what angles I like in terms of how to dance in order to like make myself feel confident when I'm dancing because I you know it's like I don't know what looks good yet while I'm dancing like some things I would do when I was dancing before like I don't do anymore because it just doesn't look right and honestly like I've debated making this video so many times because doing social media your body is constantly being scrutinized and I am so transparent and I would love to show y'all the angles that I don't like on myself but I just don't want people being now is not the time I don't want people constantly looking for those angles in my videos and like trying to point them out or like anything like that like I feel like even saying this now people are going to maybe look for those things and it just makes me kind of uncomfortable so I'm really sorry but just know that if you do get butt implants that there probably is going to be some angles that you look at them that you're not in love with them what side effects did you have so if you guys haven't watched my last video I think it was two month butt implant video I went over extensively that I had an incision opening in my wound due to a lot of reasons due to the fact that it's a really really high complication of the surgery also where my incision was placed also my lack of knowledge in the aftercare from the surgery so if you do happen or plan to get butt implants please 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 take it so easy seriously at least a month after the surgery i don't mean easy like just going about your daily life i mean seriously treat yourself like you are a board that can only go like this and this because any sitting squatting anything that can tear that incision open is a huge risk and it will really really suck and i'm begging you to just be careful the next question is probably the most hard out of all of these questions if you knew now what it, what it, how was it worded if you knew then what you know now would you get them and this is something that i ask myself many times like if i had to go back and do it all over again would i do it and i don't know i really honestly don't know there are certain things that i absolutely love about them i love the way they look in jeans i love them from certain angles i feel so confident when i'm wearing some sweats or something and i know my booty is still poking like it would never before they do make me feel so confident in some moments but then other moments they make me feel less confident kind of like give and take in every aspect honestly i can't answer that question i really i honestly don't know if i do know maybe in a year or so once i've had more time to process and think about it i'll let you know can you do intense booty workouts with them so absolutely you can work out a hundred percent the same but i feel like and stay tuned because i really am not sure about this theory but i feel like the more i work out the more higher they get and then the more I don't work out, the more lower they get. And I like the lower look because the bottom of my butt is what I wanted to fill out anyways. But then obviously the rest of my body doesn't look as good. So yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that theory. But I actually had to take two months off of the gym because of some health reasons recently. And I was really loving the way my booty was looking. And I swore it just looked more settled and dropped. And I mean, that makes sense because when you are working out your butt, like everything just gets tighter up there. But you can do all, like you can do any hip thrust, deadlift, squats, any workout. It won't affect it at all. Do you feel like your bum has reduced in size as you've recovered? Absolutely. It has gotten a lot smaller, which is really good because honestly, if I could do something differently, I would go back and get them smaller. I just feel like if they were just a little bit smaller, I would like them a lot more and i do still feel like they look really natural and they look you know like you can't really tell that i have butt implants if you just look at my butt but even so like i would just like them smaller i think it just has gone kind of down and down and down every month like, that was like a lot of the reasons i was having such intense feelings of not liking them was i just didn't like the size around like month four month five 
I just still felt like they were way too big and I just wasn't completely happy with that. But I feel like even now they're still kind of settling in and I won't get the final results of, you know, how they actually feel and are going to look until probably like two years. So I'm just hoping they continue to settle into my body nicely and, you know, I would be happy if they even got smaller. Do they hurt occasionally or how's your body fully adapted to them now? They never hurt. They kind of do feel weird if I bend over and push up against something or if like something like sharp and hard presses against them. It doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just like a weird feeling, but yeah, they never hurt. Someone said, what do they feel like? So this is another thing that I'm not absolutely obsessed with. Butt implants are very firm, but I will say thankfully, since they are placed in the top of your bum and I'm going to, I'm going to stand up and show y'all. Since they are placed like in the top of your butt, like if you grab the bottom of your butt, it feels absolutely natural. And thankfully that's usually where if someone's grabbing your butt, they're gonna grab your butt. They're not gonna be like, mm, booty. I mean, they might, but even then like, it doesn't feel necessarily like super hard, but it definitely is firm. Like it feels like you've been working out for the butt. Like here and here is firm, but like here is completely like jiggly, normal booty, like normal. But if you touch like around the top, it is really firm. Which I understand because this is like an area of your body that goes through it. You know, you have a lot of stress in that area. You're sitting, you're rolling, you're getting up, like all of these different things on that area. So it probably needs to be a firmer silicone in order to withstand all of that. I was wondering how you feel they integrate into your body. Do they feel a part of you versus something added? I feel like as time goes on, they're feeling so much more like just my body. And like at the year mark, your body accepts any foreign object as now a part of your body. So even right now, eight months in, my body still hasn't fully accepted this foreign object as a part of my body yet. So it does feel a little bit foreign, but in a year, I have faith that it'll feel completely normal and I'll be 100% used to it. Why did you choose implants over a BBL? Do you regret that? Because there was so many, there's just so many factors that go into a BBL. Like, first of all, it's one of the highest surgeries, one of the highest death rate in surgeries. I think it's like one in 3,000 people die who get a BBL, um, which is really scary. A lot of people's don't stick. I've had so many friends who've gotten BBLs and they have, you know, you have to get multiple rounds of that dangerous surgery in order to get the results you want. Some people do get lucky and they get an amazing BBL the first time, but that's normally not the case. I don't really have a lot of fat to go into a BBL and I feel like I might have been in the same position that I was pre-BBL and trying to like preserve my fat in my butt, which I was trying to avoid in the first place. I wouldn't say that if I have any regrets in what I did in surgery, it's honestly just that I didn't go smaller. But this was like, when I woke up from the surgery, she was like, you got some really big implants, which was really shocking to me because I literally told him that I wanted a super, super natural look. And not to say he didn't give me that, but these are also really big implants at the same time. Have they gotten softer and more realistic? So as time goes on, yes, they are getting a lot softer they're like settling into my body more and i'm liking them more and more that's why i just honestly didn't want to jump the gun and like film when i was feeling just like not the best about them because i was trying to have faith that it was going to get better and it has gotten so much better and i just am holding out and holding my faith that i will continue to just like them more and more and more and hopefully one day i can tell you guys that i don't wish i went smaller and i'm so happy with the way they've settled in and there's no angle that bothers me anymore and i love the way they feel but i think just with these major surgeries you just have to know that even with breast implants a year like into it is not the softest your boobs are going to be i'm holding out hope those are all of the questions all in all i am really happy with them they make me really confident in a lot of different ways i love trying on clothes and seeing the way my butt looks in them and i feel like you know, at first it was kind of shocking to me how my butt was looking and that was also a reason that I wasn't loving it. I think it was just like a mental thing too. Like it took time for my mental to adjust to the whole situation that was happening. It was definitely a major surgery. It definitely was a lot harder than I expected. Everything was a lot different than I expected. I, at the moment, like I wouldn't change a thing. I'm still going through the process. I'm still figuring out 
how I like it. So I just wanted to like come on here and answer those questions, but know that they're subject to change because my mind has changed so much throughout this whole process. And it honestly has, like I said, just been such a roller coaster. I will definitely be posting another update. Not sure when, but whenever I feel like I just feel like I have more of a solid overall feeling towards them in general. That's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I will be answering any other questions in the comments you have below, as many as I can get to. So drop your comments down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.